Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be talking about widgets in WordPress. And now widgets are something that allows you to use some more advanced functionality in your site without knowing advanced techniques uh, through coding. So here you can do things that you couldn't normally do without knowing some sort of PHP. And now we can accomplish some pretty cool stuff. So to get to widgets, we need to go to appearance. And then if we click on appearance, we can uh, open this up or you can just hover over it and get the menu to go to widgets either or. And what you see here is we have uh, available widgets on the left and we have widget areas on the right. And now you can collapse and, and show these all you'd like. Um, that way, you know, you only have to work on the area that you're working on currently. And you may be wondering, you know, how do we use these, right? So the primary sidebar, the content sidebar, and the footer widget area are all designated areas in your theme for widgets. And now in a later video, I'm going to show you how you can actually add more widget areas. So if these aren't enough, you can actually add your own, but it does take some coding. So if you're not comfortable with PHP, well, we're going to go through it nice and basic. So by the end, by the time we get there with the series, you're going to be super comfortable and be able to add your own widget areas. So if we click on primary sidebar, you can see the widgets we're currently using are search, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, and meta. Now I'm going to open the site in a new tab here at the front end, and you can see our search, recent posts, recent comments, categories, and meta. Let's say we don't really want this meta information. Like I don't want site admin, log in, log out. So if we come over here, we can actually drag meta off. Now when I dragged it off, it removed it from the primary sidebar and you'll notice there's no save button. So we don't have to do anything, right? Now if we refresh this page, Meta's gone. So just like that, we added and removed some really interesting functionality. Now what else could we add here? Basically, these are all the available widgets and you can even add more with plugins. Now, let's say you just wanted a tag cloud of the most used tags of your site. Well, we could actually drag this tag cloud there and we could even throw it above the archives. We could put it anywhere. Just by dragging and moving this around, you can change the order of your widgets. So we're just going to throw it in here. And you'll notice when I click on tag cloud, we get a set of options and it can say anything. We can just say tag tags, just like that. So we don't necessarily have to have it say tag cloud, right? It can say whatever you'd like. Now we can have it choose whether it's tags or categories uh, or whatever taxonomy you're using. I just want to use tags, so let's click save. Now we have tag cloud with the title of tags. Notice how any of the other widgets, you can also modify them, you know, show more than five posts, display post date, or change the title. So let's go ahead and like I said, there's no save button, so we don't have to do anything here after we make that adjustment. We can refresh and we have our tag cloud. First post, hello world, hello Ipsum. Here's all of our tags right here. So in about five minutes or less, we have uh, modified this sidebar. We've added some bit of functionality that would normally take in programming and we have changed it. We have modified it. So that just shows you how awesome widgets are. Now, if we wanted to throw that same meta information into something like the footer, we can go ahead and just grab that meta and drop it in the footer. Now we can click save and let's come back here and refresh our page. If we scroll down, we now have that meta information in the footer and we could adjust the styling on that with our CSS as we needed to if it didn't necessarily look like how you'd like it to. Great. So that is the basics of widgets. Feel free to play around with them and see what you can make, see how you can adjust them on your page, and just generally what you can accomplish. In the next video, we're going to be talking about menus. And then we're going to get into some more menu features. Then we're going to get into installing and using plugins. And then that way we can show you how to download and get more widgets than are what is WordPress gives you out of the box in these available widgets. Because you can actually download widgets from uh, WordPress, the plugin repository, and 
add even more functionality like slideshows and stuff like that. So check it out. We're going to get going. And then after all of that stuff, we're going to get into some more advanced and more intermediate features of WordPress. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up on Facebook or Twitter or on the Level Up Tuts forum. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and bye.